Hello and welcome to the Scratch coding class. So in today's video we are going to be creating a code encryptor and decryptor in Scratch and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay so just a couple of things to say about this project before we start and this project is for intermediate to advanced coders with Scratch as the code in it is a bit difficult to understand at times and um, also I just want to explain a bit about this project before we start it. So basically we're going to be creating like a coding rule for the computer so Essentially what it does is we're going to have an original message. We're just going to type in the message into the computer. Then um, we have an encrypt function which means it changes it into a coded version of the message using the rule that I programmed into the computer. And that is called a ciphertext, the coded version. And then we're also going to do a decrypt function where we turn the ciphertext in into the original version again using the, the rule for the code and that is basically all we're going to do today so we're just going to get started and i've created four variables and it is choice cipher letter changing and place in word i'll explain each of these variables when we get into them but first we'll just get coding so when green flag clicked then we want to set the cipher variable to absolutely nothing so how you do that is basically you um, click on that zero it will highlight and then you just press the backspace key on your keyboard and that will remove um, any characters inside it and now you just have a blank and then you want to ask the question do you want to encrypt code or decrypt code so I'm just going to type in encrypt or decrypt and then what you want to do now is you want to use an if then else condition and then if answer is equal to decrypt encrypt sorry so if answer is equal to encrypt so then if it is then you want to set the choice variable and this is um a bit different uh, to what uh, you're probably used to doing because um, for, for the code you need a separate rule for code for encryption and a separate rule for code for decryption because the computer won't really know like um, we, uh, we would know that if I'm doing a rule forward one letter then if we're decrypting we know to go backwards one letter but the computer won't know that so we have to uh, code um, a separate rule for encryption and one for decryption so then we need to duplicate this and we want to set the choice to decrypt like so and that is basically that bit complete and then what we want to do now is we want to ask the user for the message because we don't even know what we're doing so we need to ask um, the message so we can, that we can work with so what's your message and then we need to set the variable place in word to zero and place in word is essentially the character that we're checking e inside each word because um, we're going to be doing one letter in code at a time inside the loop so for example inside this what's your message a question the w would be place in word one it's the first letter of the message then the h would be place in word two because it's the second letter of the message and so on so then we need to do a repeat loop repeat until and then we got a operators we need greater than so we got place in word so that's um whatever letter it's checking is greater than the length of the answer so basically once it goes past the number of characters in the answer it can't really do any more so it just needs to stop the loop and then we need to set letter changing to zero and then actually not zero we just want to remove the zero completely so we have a blank and then we need to create a my block and i'm just going to call this my block change um, letter and then we need to add it an input number or text we just click on that once and then we will have um, our input and then we have this define block i'll worry about that later uh, for now we want to put this um, at the bottom of the loop and then we need um, a letter of answer block so letter place and word of answer is what we're doing here And then after we do that, we want to set the cipher variable. So set cipher variable uh, to uh, join the cipher and the letter changing variables. So we need to join them both together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the place in word by one. So basically that's going to increase by one. Then if it's um, less than the length of the answer or equal, it's just going to repeat the loop again and so on. So that is a loop complete. And all we have to do now is just we need to say uh, the output answer so we need to um, do string concentration here so we need to join uh, your messages and you want to put a space bar and then you can put in the variable cipher so that is basically going to say uh, the finished version of the message and now 
here comes the annoying part we need to create the rule for the code and the rule for the code I am just going to do um, a simple code of forward one letter so for example if I'm coding and making a into the code that would be B and uh, um, if I did let's say J into the code it would be K so on so that is basically going for one letter but if you want to make over complicate things then you can do like a different letter for each um, character so for example I could do like A to T like completely random then I could do B to N or something just completely random uh, but you have to make sure that you don't repeat um, letters when we're doing this code like you can't do um, for example A to D and then you can't do C to D again because A's already changed to D so uh, you understand what I mean when we get into the code but what we're gonna do now is we have to put an if then else and we're gonna have two separate code uh, coding rules so you're gonna have one for encryption and one for decryption so we need so if choice is equal to encrypt and then what we want to do is we want to uh, start creating uh, the code for each letter so we're going to start with the space bar because the space bar and um, we don't want really as uh, the space bar to change um, in both versions so we're going to keep the space bar the same so we need um, an if then then we do an equals and then what you want to do is you're going to drag um, sort of this thing from the, um, the define uh, block at the top and just uh, drag it in here and then you want to just erase this and then just press the space bar once and that will create a space character and then you want to set the letter changing to space so you remove the zero and then press the space bar once and that will be um, a space bar so space bar just changes the space bar it just stays the same then you duplicate so you duplicate that and then you change that to a and then what you want to do is you want to change letter changing to b and then I'm just going to keep duplicating it so we're going to do B to C and then we're going to do C to D and so on and eventually you want to keep doing this until you go down to Z and then you can also do numbers in it as well so you can do like 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 and so on so I'm just going to keep the first four letters because I don't want to waste any more time and then I'm just going to duplicate all of this and then put it down in the else part and then in this else part this is for decryption so we're going to keep the top part the same except we need to change the letter changing so a now turns back into z because we're now going backwards one letter um, in my rule so b turns to a c turns to b and d turns to c and that is basically everything you just keep going down the alphabet and if you want to do all the numbers and then that is basically um, every bit of code finished now we're going to test out the project green flag click let's say i want to encrypt and i'm just going to encrypt uh, CBA and that it turns into DCB now I want to remember that message because I'm going to do the decrypt option and we're going to do DCB and that's going to turn it back into CBA so that is basically this project now finished and uh, again you can just change this rule if you want and an another challenge which would be quite difficult is you probably want to add extra letters inside the word to confuse people and like add and like a random um, character every uh, while or so so uh, that is just a ch an extra challenge if you want to try it by yourself but that is um, everything for today's video so uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next video bye for now